This video is for lesson 26-1, proving the midpoint formula. We're going to change the learning goals. Instead of writing coordinate proofs to prove that theorem, we're simply going to review how you use the midpoint formula. Midpoint formula was a topic from first semester of geometry class. It's a way to find the midpoint of a segment when the segment's on the coordinate grid. We're going to review how to do that, and then we'll do practice problems using that formula. Here's an example picture of when you would use the midpoint formula. Let's say that we're given two points. One of them is called P, the other is called Q, but those points could be called anything. The first point given has X and Y coordinates, and we use the variables X1 and Y1 to represent those coordinates. For the second point given to us, the X and Y coordinates are given the letters X2 and Y2, to represent whatever the actual numbers are. To find the midpoint, we use this math formula. Students that were here first semester wrote this on a note page to use during a test, and I encourage you to write that on a note page for second semester as well. This formula indicates that to find the midpoint, you write an ordered pair. The ordered pair will have two numbers separated with a comma. To find the first number, you average the x-coordinates of the endpoints of the segment. To average numbers, you add them together and divide by 2. Similarly, that's how you average the y coordinates. Here's the drawing that goes with that formula. It's make believe there's some random segment on the coordinate grid. One endpoint is p, the other endpoint is q. Remember that the x and y coordinates of those endpoints have the variables x1, y1, and x2, y2. To find the dot that's exactly in the middle of the endpoints, you use this formula. Let's try an example problem. Let's say that there is a segment and point A is at 1, 4 and point B is at 3, 7. And we want to find the midpoint of that segment. The first thing that you can do is graph that so that visually you get an idea of where the midpoint is. The highest number used for x is a 3, so on the x-axis, we at least want to count over to 3. The highest number used for y is 7, so on the y-axis, we at least want to go up to 7. Now we can plot the points. 1, 4 is right 1 and up 4, and 3, 7 is right 3 and up 7. So our segment is this short segment connecting those dots. Now, where's the midpoint of that segment? Visually, it looks to be about right there. It looks like there's an equal amount of space here as there is here. But where exactly is the dot? We could try to find it by lining it up with numbers on the x-axis and numbers on the y-axis. But to be very accurate, we should use algebra. We're going to use the midpoint formula. This is the x1. This number is the y1. This is x2. And this is y2. To find the midpoint, let's say that it is the letter m, although it could be any letter of the alphabet, you add the x coordinates together and divide by 2, comma. Now add the y coordinates together and divide by 2. Let's evaluate what we get. 1 plus 3 makes 4. 4 divided by 2 makes 2. 4 plus 7 is 11, and 11 divided by 2 is 5 and a half, or 5.5 as a decimal. So here is the midpoint M. We probably could have guessed that it was at 2 on the x-axis, but I'm not sure from our sketch if we would get 5.5 correctly for our y-coordinate. That's why it's so important to use the algebra formula to guarantee you get the correct answer. Let's go just to some empty space on the next page and try another example. Again, we're not really following what this lesson's about. We're just making use of this lesson to review finding midpoint. Let's say that we have a point called point C, and it's located at negative 3, 6, and another point D, which is located at 4, 12. What is the midpoint of this segment? I'm going to pause the video, and during that time, I'd like you to graph a sketch of this 
and use the algebra formula to find that midpoint. Here's the sketch. I could have gone however far I wanted on the x-axis, but I chose to go only to negative 3 and only to positive 4 because I was trying to make use of the numbers given to me and not waste my time. Now on the y-axis, I didn't make any negative numbers going down, and I went up to positive 12. Again, I paid attention to the numbers that were given to me for the letter y so that I wasn't wasting time doing a lot of unnecessary marks on the y-axis. Then I graphed point C and point D and connected them with this green segment. I visually located the middle of the segment, put a red dot there, and called it point M. Now let's find the exact coordinates of point M. You add the X coordinates together and divide by 2. Then add the Y coordinates together and divide by 2. And evaluate this answer. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1, and 1 divided by 2 is a half, or 0.5. 6 plus 12 is 18, 18 divided by 2 is 9. So point M is at 1 half, comma 9. In this lesson, we reviewed how to use the midpoint formula to find the dot that's exactly in the middle of a segment. Our practice assignment is going to be to do a whole lot of problems about finding the midpoint.